Good morning, Pastor Jana here with another in my series called Points of Praise that will help elevate us to a place of praise and worship before our God 24-7. You know that we can be a hallelujah from head to toe? It's true. Last week we read from Isaiah 61.3 that the Lord had given us a spirit of praise, a, a garment of praise for what? The spirit of heaviness, a spirit of depression, despair, sadness, and a faint spirit. And that that garment of praise is something we're to put on. Just like we put on the armor of God, we're to put on a garment of praise. It's to cover us from head to toe. You know, we sing a song quite often, and there's several songs with this kind of verse in it, but my praise is a weapon, right? My praise is a weapon. What does that mean? Well, the enemy of our soul, the devil, has devised a plan to steal our praise because he knows that it releases power and authority that defeats him, that renders him powerless. I like the idea of rendering my enemy powerless. Okay, so here is where I want to challenge you. We're going to read out of Acts 16, verses 25 through 34. This is when Paul and Silas were in, in Philippi, and they were arrested, and they were stripped, and they were beaten, and they were thrown in the inner prison, and their feet and their legs were put in stocks. They were in the dar darkest, dankest, most disgusting place that they could possibly be, and their bodies were torn, and their bodies were ripped, and I'm sure that they were in physical pain. But it says in verse 25, But at midnight, at the darkest hour, Paul and Silas were praying, and not just praying, they were singing hymns to God. And they weren't just singing hymns to God. All the prisoners were listening to them. That means they were singing loud. They were praising the Lord loudly. They were singing while they were in stocks. And suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were loosed. And the keeper of the prison awakening from sleep and seeing the prison doors opened, supposed the prisoners had fled and he drew his sword and was about to kill himself because he knew he was in a lot of trouble. But Paul called out with a loud voice, do not harm yourself for we are all here. And then he called for a light and he ran in and he brought, and he brought out Paul and Silas and he said, sirs, what must I do to be saved? He'd experienced a supernatural event, all those prisoners had. And as we go in the story, we, we find that not only was he saved that night, but all of his household. Paul and Silas made a choice that night at midnight that they would honor and bless and sing praises loudly to the Lord their God. And it brought an earthquake. It brought a miracle. Praise releases the power and authority of God into any situation. When you praise the Lord, it releases the very presence of the Lord into your situation. See, we're not just talking here about Sunday morning worship, and this is where my challenge is today. Although there is great, great power in the praise that we, uh, when we lift praise to the Lord corporately in the body of Christ. You can read 2 Chronicles 5, 12 through 14 about the dedication of the, Solomon, uh, the Temple of Solomon when the glory of the Lord filled the place so greatly that they couldn't even stand up anymore. They fell before Him because the glory was so thick and so wonderful and that came from that unity and that's amazing and that's glorious especially when we think about the fact that we are now the temple of the Holy Spirit that that same presence that glory dwells in us that's why when we release praise we're releasing the presence of God into our situation so we have an individual responsibility to sing praises to God yes I said to sing to sing praises to God. Ephesians 5, 18 and 19 tells us that we should not be drunk with wine, for that is wickedness, corruption, and stupidity, but be filled with the Holy Spirit and constantly guided by Him. And then verse 19 is the best part, says, Speak to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, offering praise by singing, yes, singing, and making melody with your heart to the Lord that we're to sing to one another, that we're to praise the Lord to one another. Psalm 100 verse 2 says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before His presence with singing. Enter His gates with thanksgiving and His courts with praise. Colossians 3, 16. Look these up later and study them. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. <laughs> singing praise releases power. It frees us just as it freed 
uh, Silas and Paul from their stocks. It, pre it frees us from the chains that are binding us. It, it puts on us, it exchanges us our garment of heaviness. It puts on us a garment of praise and salvation and glory. And you say, well, nobody wants to hear me sing. Trust me, I'm not a good singer, I can't carry a tune. Nobody wants to hear me sing. May I just say to you that God does and that your own soul needs to hear you sing. David would speak to his own soul often. He'd say, bless, he'd say, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name and forget not all his benefits. He'd say, why are you so cast down, O my soul? Put your hope in God. Why are you so disquieted within me? For I will yet praise him. He is the health of my countenance and my God. That word health of my countenance, health is the word salvation, which in the Hebrew is Yeshua. Jesus himself is the health of my countenance. And when I praise him, I release his power and his presence and his authority and his purpose and his ability into every situation. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. The garment of praise, that word again for praise is tehillah. It is the high sung praises of God. We're to sing to the Lord. We, call, we talk about singing in the spirit. You may be uncomfortable with singing. You may be uncomfortable thinking that your voice isn't worth hearing, but trust me, it's all going through the blood. By the time it reaches the ears of the Lord God, it's beautiful. It's beautiful because we are beautifully made and we are a part of the beautiful body of Christ. I ex exhort you to lift the praises of God, the Tehillah, the high sung praises. I'll end with Psalm 147 verse one. It says, praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our God, for it is pleasant and praise is comely. Praise is beautiful. It beautifies you because we are glorifying a beautiful God. So have a praise-filled week and I will see you next time. God bless you.